Hi everyone, today I'll be presenting you how to use a very practical video on how to use a Propolair device, specifically the Propol Therapy Model A4, the one that has the mask and the tube that allows you to breathe directly the benefits of propolis by in direct inhal inhalation of propolis, as well as using it to purify the ambient air where you are and the room you stand in with the room option. So let's go through this. First, when we receive our propyl air model, propyl therapy model, what we have in the box is actually the device itself. We also have a tube that connects to a mask. There's two masks, one for adults, one for children. So we have the tube and the masks. We also have um, one propolis capsule that is in a little bag like this uh, that you have. So you have one capsule with it. Um, you also have the wire to connect it as well as the adapter that goes uh, with the wire. And um, you don't have that box here. I'm just showing it because you have to know that in order to use a propolis device, you need specific propolis capsules made by contact by this company that makes manufactures the propyl air devices so it's in the, the box of the capsules looks exactly like this and that's what you need to be using if you're using your own propolis because you're a beekeeper or you buy propolis already you have to know that your warranty won't be uh, hold anymore so it won't be active anymore no more warranty if you use your own propolis in the device and we don't encourage you to do so because the propolis have been prepared to be very effective in those capsules in those devices and also uh, we know that contact that company manufacturing the propolis devices they do study their propolis really well to make sure there's no pollutants and also a lot of active ingredients in their propolis so it's good stuff we do encourage you to use those capsules at all time so um let's have a look um, at how first we plug in that device. Of course, we need the adapter, then the wire itself. The wire is really nice. It has a USB end on it, which you plug in the adapter. And once your adapter is plugged in the wall, you can actually plug the other end of the wire in your propeller device. You see it's at the back here. There's a little place for this plug it in and your machine is powered. Now let's go through the different steps to learn how to use the device. So first you need a capsule, a propolis capsule and the device. So that opening right here has a lid. The lid is very easy to lift. You just lift, you don't have to screw and screw. You just gently lift, put it aside and you have to insert your own propolis capsules. There's already one in that one I've put before, but when you receive your device, there won't be any. So you have to use the capsule you have in your box and you put it in here. There's a little cylinder here. You just gently slide it in like this. You don't have to press nothing. It just gently fits in. And then when this is done, you put the lid back on. And you do have now a propolis cap capsule in your device. Now you can turn your device on by pressing the power button right here. This button is for power, also for reset. We'll see that at the end of the, towards the end of the video. And now you see a screen. The screen has a lot of information on. Um, there's actually five different types of information right here on that screen. You see the writings right now? It's written in French. You might have recognized that. So if you press that button here with you, you see, we see a face right here kind of talking and that symbol here is for the language. So if you press this, you're actually changing the language. So this is another language here. Now another one and now in English. So now we're in English. We see that room, yes, no, yes, etc. It's all English. So um, that's for this button. Let's move towards that button right here. 
uh, we see some kind of a scientific kind of button and um, the logo on here. This is for the ionizer because yes, that model A4 propyl therapy has an ionizer in, in, incorporated in the device. This is for a usage in a room where you're breathing and you want actually to clean the air from viruses, from bacteria right now with the COVID, it's something very popular. Uh, we want to clean the air we breathe. So the ionizer will actually ionize the propyl air active particles that are going in the air from that end here, from the propolis, those active um, particles will be ionized so that they will actually hunt faster for bacteria, viruses, and any other type of pollution as well. And they will then um, clean the air faster with the ionizer. That's the usage of your ionizer. You can actually turn it, turn it on or off. If you are a little worried, uh, you have uh, ch very, very young children, babies, and you don't want them to have ionized air at all around you, you can turn it off. Otherwise, I always suggest when you use it for room uh, to put the ionizer on as much as possible, it will clean your air better. So you can actually, and you see there's an I right here. The I is for ionizer. So if I press on it, right now it's at yes because it's using the ionizer. If I press on it, now it says no. And now I'm going to turn it back to yes because I want to use it. So that's for ionizer. <clears throat> now there's another button right here. You see there's kind of a sound logo. This is for sound. And you see there's an S right here. Right now it's saying S yes uh, because that button gives the machine uh, the option to generate a, a little beeping when the capsule, for example, is done, is over, you've done your usage of the capsule, there will be a beeping happening to let you know it's not something super crazy strong, it's actually pretty mild. So it's just letting you know that the machine is out of, pro of active ingredients in the propolis capsules. So you actually have to change, renew your capsule. So that's the main reason why you have you, you want to have your sound on. And I always put it on, except there might be some reason why you don't want it on. Uh, for example, you're sleeping, you know that during your night, uh, the machine will run out of active ingredients and it will start beeping during the night. Then, of course, maybe you want to turn it off. But um, that's about it for sound. And again, I'll do... You'll see now it's at yes, now it's at no, the sound, yes, no. I'll put it on yes. So that's for that option. Then you also have another button right down here, which is looks like a vent. This is the, the, the vent that is actually included also in that model. Not every model has a ionizer. Not, not every model has a vent in them, but this one has both the propyl therapy. So the vent here, you see there's a V for vent. You can actually, now it's at off, like no. But if I press on it, it's at yes. So now it's on. So that vent will be active here. You might hear it coming on or off um, as we do the video right now, uh, because that vent won't be on at all time when it's, at, when, it's, when it's on, when it's on the yes function for the vent because um, you don't want that vent running all the time. You don't need it. The machine knows exactly how it's heating the propolis in the capsule. So it's going to allow that vent to be turned on enough to maximize the, the spread of the active volatile ingredients from the propolis in the air. This is really cool because that vent actually allows you to increase your coverage of um, the propyl therapy from 30 cubic meters, which is the usual for all models, to 60 cubic meters. So it increases drastically. It actually doubles up the coverage of your propyl of your propolis um, diffuser device. So that's very interesting. In the meantime, that little noise the fan is doing might you know you might not like it specifically while you're sleeping so i always suggest 
when you're sleeping, don't put it on, just put the device closer to you. It's still covering 30 cubic meters, um, so you're fine, especially, specifically if it's close to you. But if you're in a big office or where you're working, you're a teacher, for example, you have a big room with your children and you want to help your children not to get sick and so on and yourself, or you're working in daycare uh, and it's a big room, you might need those 60 um, um, square meters. Actually, it's square meters. So you might actually need those 60 square meters. And it's, it, it's always in square meters. I'm sorry for the cubic that I've said it's, it's square. So um, yeah, you might need that vent from time to time, specifically if you work in an area where there's a lot of people coming in and out, are often people sick. Uh, it's really nice to have it. I'll turn it off for now because we don't need it for the demo. So you see now the vent is off. Is that no? Um, so that's it. There is another thing written here. It doesn't concern any button here. It's that D right here, D, and then you see 122. This is for duration of your capsule. Every propolis capsules will last for about 122 hours. So that's what's written here. This is a brand new capsule. So the duration is at 122. So there's still 122 hours left of active um, um, component of the propolis to be released in the air uh, for that much longer, which is really nice because it actually does last for a really long time. And there's a final button and a final option here that we didn't talk about is that one here. There's a P and there's a P here as well. So that central button here will actually change the mode of action of the propeller. It will change from room setting. See, it's written room. So that's for your ambient air, ambient air in a room. And it will change this to, let's press on it, aerosol. So this is actually for usage with the mask. And I don't know if you heard, but as soon as I press this, now the vent is actually working um, to push the air in the mask. Now the mask is not on, I'll put it on right now. So basically I just lift the lid and now I plug the tube in just like this, where the lid fits, that, that end of the tube fits as well. And then you just plug your, your mask at the other end of the tube, just like this. And your mask is ready and you can actually put it on and breathe in your propolis. Very, very simple, very basic. And you would use this about 15 to 30 minutes at a time. And you could do this um, one to three times per day. And this is really helpful if you have specific breathing problems um, that are uh, chronic breathing problems, very often, even sometimes acute. Uh, but for if you do have chronic breathing problems, you would be surprised how this uh, can be of help. So um, that's the unique model, only the propyl therapy, the model A4, which is the same as propyl therapy. That's the only model that allows you to breathe propolis with your mask and the tube because it has that other mode where the vent is working in a specific way and the propolis is heated in a specific way as well. So that's the only way to do propolis inhalation directly with a mask continuously. So that's for that option, really important. Now I'll turn it off. I'll switch it to, I'll switch it back to room. And you heard the vent change, stopped actually. So now I'll switch, I'll put back the regular lid on, put that tube away. And of course, as you've seen before, there's also a mask for children. Now, at some point, your capsule will run out of active ingredients, uh, active components, and the D, the duration here will be at zero. The machine will tell you by, if you have your sound on, your sound on, you will actually, it will be beeping as well. And the screen here will be flashing at the same time. So all that will tell you you have to change your capsule. 
So when you have an old capsule, I've got one right here, it looks like this. So it's not empty, as you can see. And you will see some, um, some wax, some stuff will be whitish, yellowish, and some stuff will be dark brown. And this is the leftover, this is normal. Your capsule is, is, is empty there, because it's empty of active ingredients. So of course there's some, some kind of leftover of propolis in it, but it's no use anymore. You can actually dispose of that capsule. So that one won't be good anymore. So when that is happening, as I told you, machine will be beeping, screen will be flashing, and it won't be heating anymore your propolis. So you're done with your capsule. What you have to do, turn off your machine, your device. Now it's turned off, you see the screen is off. Pull the lid off. And then wait till your capsule um, is solid again, because it, it, it might liquefy. Um, so when it is solid and not too hot, you can actually pull it out, put a brand new one in, like that one, a brand new one, and you change it. Well, that one is still good, so I won't change it for the demonstration, but you would, you just pull it out gently, put the new one in, I'll put that one back in, and then you put back your lid. Now you have to reset your machine. You change your capsule, but you have to tell your machine that you change your capsule. So let's turn on the machine, the device again, let it do its thing. Now it's ready. As soon as you see that on the screen, means it's ready. And you'll be pressing the power button and holding it. As you press it, you hold it pressed for about 10 seconds. And as you press it and it's on, you'll hear a beeping, continuous beeping. And at some point, it will beeping very fast, rapidly, and then it will hold a long, a, a one last long beep. When that happens, when the fast beeping and last long beep happens, the machine knows at that moment that it's been reset. That's how you reset your device. Let's do it together. Of course, right now it's still at 122 because it's a new capsule, but let's do it. So I press it as the machine was on, you hear the beep. And now the fast beeping and the long beep. And that's it. So as soon as you hear the fast beeping, rapid beeping, it means it's been reset. You'll see on your screen here that it's 122 hours. It's been reset, you'll see it. And now it's gonna be working again with your new capsule. That's how you reset your capsule. So thank you everyone for watching this presentation. If you have any other comments, uh, questions, put them in the comments of the video, of course. And um, also, if you're in North America and you want to purchase a Propolair device, I'll put a link in the description with a promotion code you can apply on our website at happyculture.com. And so that's a little bonus for you. If you want to reorder capsules because you have a machine already, that same code will work. So um, yeah, share that to all your friends that have Propolair devices. You can all benefit from that promotional code as well. And if you are in Europe, I also add a few promotional codes uh, for other places where you can buy, purchase your devices, and you'll also benefit from that same discount. So it's really worth it. Have a look in the description if you want to purchase your device. Thank you very much and see you another time for another epitherapy video.